Right, off on me travels down to the other part of the woodland that we've never seen yet, which is the old, the old forest. It's um. I can't remember which way it is. I think it's down here. <laughs> uh, this forest is massive, like. So, is that the track? I think this is the track I need to be on. Yep, it is. I remember this bit. A few little tracks around, obviously, where the, um, the landowners have been using. Like walking in and out and that. So I'm just using their tracks to get around easy. So I get my bearings. But uh, yeah, it's been a very, 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 very wet day today. And it's not bloody good like. But it's showing up all the areas that are boggy and all the areas that aren't. So that's a good thing. Tomorrow, um, we might set up a camp in a different location. I don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see how much rain comes down. As you can see, I'm coming out of the pine woods now and I'm starting to hit loads of silver birch again. Um, there's loads of it down. So I'm gonna collect a couple of bits of these on the way back as well. But we're gonna head over here. Um, so this is this is the boundary basically of the, the, um, the pine woods. And as you can see, we've got all these silver birch and there's loads of it leaning over ready to use so that's happy days i might see if i can get myself a nice bit of silver birch as well for um doing a little bit of carving later on make myself a little spoon while i'm sitting watching rooney cook uh, this crossing down here is absolutely flooded so i need to watch what i'm doing like oh we've been coming into the woods another way but this is a proper bog fest. There's a log on here to climb on and walk over. Well, it's a couple of logs put together, like by the looks of it. But that branch isn't doing as now. No favours, like. So, this is where it gets tricky. Because once you get to the edge, I might have to use me stand to get myself over. But as you can see, I'm now heading towards the big woodland. Yeah, where there's just an abundance of lovely big, big trees. Right, stand on that branch, stand over here, and walk around. And that's it. It's easier said than done when you've got a, um, a big bergen on your back, like. But this is where I'm going to be coming in and doing some hunting. As you can see, they've got some platforms already set up. For lying on okay when you look down there you've got all these little bits here and further down they've got some squirrel uh, feeder which is just there on that tree we'll have a walk down have a look and also come up which tree it is but there's a tree um i think it's one of them oh it's the big one up there to my slightly to my right at the edge that's got like um, steps to go on and a platform to stand on and hunt from there as well. So it's all set. As a lad comes in, there's a little bit of shooting here. But here it is. It's, it's absolutely massive, this place as well. It's, about a, it's just absolutely tons of wood everywhere. So that's fantastic. But uh, yeah, we get the squirrels on the buds and everything, on the fallen trees. Cut a couple of these branches down get these, um, excuse the um, camera action because I've got it on my big stand so as you can see it's not being used for quite a while so it's a bit a bit gooey and mushy in there but you know it is what it is, get that cleaned out put some new feed in it when I'm ready to come hunting, start putting them in every couple of weeks, fill it up let them know that there's food there for them and then come and set up and lie up there, cut a couple of these branches and then that'll be it like but there's willow, beech, oak all sorts of stuff in here right I think I found where I'm going to start there'll be all these little bits around here and then will be ideal 
Got to watch for that mound there. Looks like a. I don't know what that is, but it's not. It's not mud. <laughs> Put it that way. I'm gonna put my bag over this side. I'll leave my axe in there because I don't think I'm gonna need that. Let's get me saw out. Hence why I brought the bag is so I'm not carrying loads of wood in my hands. I can cut it nice to a decent length, put them in the bag and hump it back in and I can get out and take more back in that way. Because obviously it is a little bit of a hike out here um, and it's where I'm going to come from most of me decent cooking wood. You know what I mean? So especially like... Oh, oh God, I just nearly garroted myself when you saw there. Best thing to do is pick something up, if it's heavy, put it to one side because it's not going to get, it's not going to be used. And then what I'll do is I'll stand this up again somewhere later on. And it should be all right, good to go. Oh, that's nice and light. So we'll start cutting that up. On. Nice and dry ish. Put your lips on it. If it's damp on your lips, it means the wood's damp, obviously. But uh, yeah, just a little bit of dampness on the outer side, on the inside, it's nice and light. So that's what we're going to do. bit right well this is the last bit to shove in underneath the straps fingers crossed it's nice and tight and it all stays on because the burger inside is chocker and the outside is chocker as well and that's a canny weight but we've got to get some decent firewood for tonight I think I'm going to be a bit hot and sweaty by the time I get back. But it's one way to collect firewood, isn't it? Yeah. And I've got a nice flat pack, a nice comfy pack on my back, full of firewood. Let me saw. Put that away. This is where I come shopping for firewood, everyone. For decent firewood. All right. Pine's great, but it burns fierce and it burns fast. This stuff will burn really nice and long and give off some nice coals and nice heat. So now, anyway, now it's time for me to make my way back to camp, get this all put under shelter, get it processed again, chop down to little bits and pieces, see how much I've got, and I might come back for another load. It's not as if there's enough there. But on the way back, I'm going to see if I can find myself a nice bit of silver, silver birch so I can carve myself a spoon or something over the next couple of days. All right, so I'm not going to do many more videoing until I get back to camp. But let's just take one last look around. As you can see, there's tons of, tons of firewood in here. All right, it's just an abundance and that's what it's going to be used for. And other projects. Well, would you believe it? Comes in, sets up, and Lani can't sleep in his hammock. Look at this. Been here two minutes, and he's snoozing. All the work to do. Well, it looks like I'm doing all the work as normal. Mm. Aye, you can't take them anywhere, can you? Yeah. Been here five minutes and gone to bloody sleep. Typical, typical. Well, I'm gonna have a pot noodle and a brew and charge my batteries. I'll catch us in a little while. Hopefully it'll stop bloody raining.
Right, well, as you can see, it's starting to get dark now, and uh, Rooney's awake. Yeah, it's gravy <laughs> time. It's, uh, it's half past five at night. Me and Rooney have been on a, a mission. We didn't take the camera on, I think. Um, we just went for a walk around the whole perimeter, checking out different areas. Mm -hmm. And it, um, it was kind of dicey, wasn't it, at one point? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yes. So we're having we're having a refreshing drink. Gravy. Some gravies. Rooney's trying to look all look all healthy. Look at his big bottle of water next to him. <laughs> what it's what it's doing is it's hiding his first gravy. Because <laughs> Rooney, as as you know, decided to go for a little nap while I done all the wood fetching. Right, listen. <laughs> to use professionals out there, right? Set up your hammock. And obviously, being a professional, you have to test and adjust, don't you? So I tested and I adjusted and I tested again. And I thought, I wouldn't have I could fall asleep in this position, which I gladly did. Less than 30 had, seconds. <laughs> which I did and I obviously needed with the stress of, like, getting out of this place. And, uh, yeah, Jimmy says, I'll mm. happily go and collect all the wood for the fire. <laughs> I think I've got enough light. Like, I've got more there last than what I had last night. It's just all the little thin bits we need to collect. Obviously, I'm sitting in a mud bath. Um, I've had to dig a big channel down there. I'll show you this later. I'll, I'll put a clip up. I'll video it later. Um, but I got absolutely covered because I was chopping bits of bloody roots and everything to make a channel. So I'm, I was absolutely covered in mud and everything. So it's been a bit of a, bit of a lesson learned the day. Not to pick a total flat bit as you're coming off the hill because it just fills up with water. But uh, what he's trying to say is because he's a baby hippo, he can wallow up in his own little pond. <laughs> Aye. So we're going to chill out for a bit. We're going to do some. Obviously, Rooney needs to start thinking about food prepping and things. I need to start thinking about splitting some um, wood down, getting a fire going. Because, uh, like I say, it's half past five now. And we've got a big massive joint of meat. We'll show you it all as we're doing it. Big joint of meat and loads of veg, gravy. Not these gravies, proper gravy. And uh, proper gravy. So we'll probably be eating about 12 o'clock at night. It's like we normally be, do. I uh, like we normally do. We're gonna be, I'll be waking them up to say, really, t I'll check the team here because I'm being nout. Once I've got that fire light, that's me on holiday because he's been sleeping all afternoon. All afternoon. <laughs> it was a mere. Mega two hours. Second, two hours. I felt like a mega second to eat, mate. It was two hours for me. Oh, I had yeah. a cup of tea, pot noodle, had a walk around, I collected loads of firewood. Aye, aye. Done loads of messages, took loads of photographs of Rooney and put them on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. He's abused us. <laughs> and everybody found it quite comical. Especially yeah. Ian. How are we, Ian Murray? Ian. Like you say, old squaddies, you always test and adjust before you commit. Test and adjust. Anyway, that's enough waffle, because I've waffled loads already myself on this video. I don't know if it's going to make one, two or three episodes, but we'll see. If you can hear the water squelching as well. It's as damp as not as pocket. It is. I might relocate tomorrow. But I'm not moving now. It's too late. And I'm off the ground when I'm asleep anyway, so I'm not bothered. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Right, well, I'm going to take a knee on top of a log and get the fire started because the ground's saturated. I've put these nice big logs on here as a fire layer. Now, tonight, what we're going to do is, if you ever have a puncture and you get high in your inner tubes out, keep them. Take them out here, cut them into little bits. Now, the thing is, once you get this alight, put it down. Don't, don't let it drip on you because it stings. All right. 
So with a lighter, obviously you can't do it with a ferro rod. Once it catches, put it down. I've learned my mistakes, and then just start lighting all the rest of them off the one that you've already got to light. I normally give myself a good, a good chance, and just hire a few on, get them all alight. Once they're alight, just get a stick, move them along a bit. All right. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to go and get some sticks off my fire pile because obviously the ground's saturated so I've kept them on a nice, um, on a bit of a tarp, on the ground and we're just going to put them on there. Now everything's damp because it's been raining for like 15 hours but they should take. And then I've got some nice bits of wood that I've just cut. These are the bits that you've seen us cutting up and putting into a bergen and carrying up. So I'm just going to put them on the top as well. Then let the flames come through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer of thin twigs on the top. And then some thicker ones again. And just let it keep on doing its magic. But yeah, that's it. Let's push them down a bit using the the logs of uh, the the sticks I've put on. And you can hear them starting to go there nicely now. Right, well, as you can see, that's really done his food prep. With uh, actually just that's only half of the joint that I brought. It only says it was enough to feed ten villagers. So we'll do something with it tomorrow. We'll just cook it off and eat it like animals. <laughs> anyway, we're ready right for the lid. The, the lid of life to go on there, Rooney, are we? Aye. Yeah. Right. Well, the lid of life. We've got the hole there and the hole there. So that's that married up lovely. Right. And I just need to lift that up off the logs because it's kept it off the mud. And that should be done by tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> but the fire's going well. So, oh. but there we're going. Happy days. I'm gonna just let that cook, and then we'll lower it down a bit. And then when I've got some nice coals, I'll put some coals on the top of the stove, on top of the uh, the pot as well, and that'll cook from the bottom and the top at the same time. Now you wait. I think it's time for a drink, a, a gravy for Rooney, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna push the boat out and I'm gonna have a Jack Daniels for a change. Mm -hmm. So anyway, next time you see us, we'll be sitting down, all tied up, squared away, and pouring a drink out. And anyway, me and Rooney have been sitting chillaxing in front of the fire in a bog fest. <laughs> I'll quickly show you where we're sitting, look. Look at this. It sounds like a female <laughs> otter's pocket <laughs> on, a, on a passionate night. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what though, it keeps the feet nice and cool next to this fire. Yeah. But uh, we've got the pot going and it's steaming. I'm hoping it's not burning, I hope it's just steam. Um, but uh, we've got some nice coals on the top of it. The fire's, the fire's going well. I'm glad I made a fire pit off the ground instead of in the ground because it would have been a swimming pool by now. It's, yeah. um, as you can see, Rooney's got his mess everywhere. As normal, My he's just hide all his cans. He's been drinking cans of coke, cans of cider, uh, lager. We've got loads of wood. We've got tons, tons of nice thick bits of wood over there. But um, right, listen, he, he's not, he's not doing out. When do you ever see me drinking cans of Pepsi? I drink cans of Stella Artorius, right? Stella Artorius. And if you have a look, there is my three empty cans on the floor. Soon to be a fourth one. <laughs> so don't talk to me about mess, Mr. Lunder Fonder Fonder, Lunder Forty Pants. Well, who's is them two cans over there? Because I've only had one can of Stella the night. Oh, oh there's yeah. three cans of Stella there. Oh, that must have been an accident. Oh, oh no, sorry. Two of them are mine because I had one last night. Because oh, I, I had to oh. use I had to use my rubbish bag. Kettle, I, had, kettle. I had to use my rubbish bag for 
that lad to put yeah. all these scrapes in. So, but anyway, you, wait. oh go on, oh, you said that at the same time as me. Yeah, go on. just waiting for the otters to join with, you know what I mean? We're going to get a few pockets out and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, get your mankinis and all that and uh, put on your woolly hats. Yeah, but anyway, I we've decided that this area here in this part of the woodland is no good for camping like. It's a bit of a bog fest when it's been pouring down with rain. Um, it stopped raining about, what, five o'clock the night? So yeah, that was yep. a good 12 hours of heavy rain. And it's just proved one thing to me, I need to move further. So as you know, I just joined away. the party and uh, some poor decisions were made when I was, when I was absent, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like I say, yeah. Is, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Testing just, remember that one. Testing it just as um, Mr. Lun Larson caught us having a quick sloth on <laughs> um, his Instagram channel. So, <laughs> but yes. Got ya, set up, lay in his hammock to test it to make sure it was comfortable and went, I'll see you later, Jimmy. I'm gone for two hours, Kip. So I had to go and get all the wood by myself. As, you, as you've seen and as you've heard us whinging about it earlier on. Because I did have a whinge. Because he's a lazy twat. <laughs> but well, nowadays, I wouldn't, I wouldn't camp with anybody else. You know what is if you I had gun camp, If I had a gun camping every week with one person. Wouldn't be me. The sloth is the one I would get. Now why? Because he feeds as well. <laughs> right. He's a cushy cook. There's a, there's a little. It's bit the only of thing side. he's got gone for him, like because he's, a he's an ugly twat. Side note as well as um 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 and um, so he had, had a few gravies. <laughs> had a, quite a few gravies <laughs> with extra thick gravy on a couple of them. <laughs> and um, if you all remember that song, Oops Upside Your Head, I said, Oops Oop Upside, upside your, your Head. head. Oop right. Upside Your Head, I said, Oop Upside Your Head. That yeah. song happened to be playing last night, and uh, your one and only decided to get in on the groove with about 30 females. And he took his top off as well, apparently, what he was telling me. My God. That was later on. Don't uh, talk about, don't talk about that. Cut, uh, cut, 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 I cut, bet, cut. I bet they were thrown up left, right and centre. <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> yes. yes. That's why nobody had any of the buff here. <laughs> there was so much well, of it left. And he didn't even bring any from me either. No. Right, well, everybody. It's now time to start getting some food up and running. So I'm going to just move my chair a little bit. Just so I can get into the table. We've got the gravy done. We've got the food. God, that weighs a ton. Right, where am I going to put this, Rooney? Because mm. I'm falling all over in this mud. I haven't even got a fork and out. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my head torch on. I need to turn that off because otherwise the light is going to be crap. It's just been a calamity of puddles. It is, mate. It is. Right, I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to take the lid of life off. Whoa, steamy windows, man. What's going on? <sighs> I'm going to put this on top of me wood pile. Wow, well, ah, that was a place, yeah, like. We haven't, just haven't got a clue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on my chair. Rooney's going to grab some bits out of the... I haven't got any clamps. No, I'll just pick it up with your fucking hands, man. And just rip it up. No, I was just... Uh... We'll kind of put the thing on the ground because it's just too much mud everywhere. It's unbelievable. It's all liquid, isn't it? And not. Go on, scoop it in, lad. And then I'll do the same. Carry it all, Torius. 
and then we'll put some cool gravy on because the gravy's been done too long now. <laughs> oh god, he's hiding food on the floor for the animals. I'm gonna put some meat first on the side. Oh, I tell you what, this is fucking ridiculous. This. I tell you, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for swearing everybody, but it's doing me shit and lap and all this mud. It is, isn't it? It is. It's really starting to get to me. It's, it's, it's actually, actually, actually spoiling what we've got going on. As you can see, we've got going on. There's a big pot of food, and I can't get into it. No, why can I can't get into it? Because. Rooney's not helping. Where did you see him? See me helping him? I don't care, mate. I'm just gonna hide loads of shit on the plate, and I'm gonna go for it. Ah, oh, there is a lot of juices in there. Nah. I'll leave a bit of meat in there though, because you want some more. Because I've got two chunks. Is there enough? Do you want any more? Fine. Veg. We might as well go it all up, mate. Cause it's, it's... I know you like your carrots, because oh. you like to try and see in the dark. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? I like your spruitiest or spruitiest. I'm just trying to leave the juices in the, oh, I need the, the bottom. No. Oh, well, I'll have that chunk of meat then. <laughs> oh, I'm quite happy with the veg. I think that's it, mate. There's a couple of little scrapes here if you want it. Nope. Oh, well, I'll have it. And I'm going to put that on the floor now because I've had enough. And anyway, everybody. Just want more gravy, actually. Oh, well, you need to wait until I've had some and I haven't had any and that's enough for me. So you're out of shit luck. That's why I said we need to make fucking a bigger pot of gravy. Well, I did have a big kettle of food uh, gravy on. You can, you can dip it in there if you want. You basically... Right, well, everybody, there's dinner, supper, tea, all the meats. So far I haven't the... got fucking gravy with it, you know what I mean? Aye. They have a roast meat and not fucking gravy. It's round those, him. Well, good morning, everybody. Well, should I say, is it good afternoon? Yes, it's now ten past twelve in the afternoon. Does that mean the little hand is on the twelve and the big hand is on the ten? That's correct, mate. All right, okay. Aye, well done. He's, he's clever, him. Like, and anyway, the reason why we're so late getting onto the video for it is because we haven't had a lie in. We've been evicted by a bunch of otters. That's how wet and damp it was where we were. Um, it was like a proper mud fest last night after we uh, stopped eating my food. Every time you moved, it it, it was like having a mud, mud bath basically. So we've moved location. I'm busy at the moment. <laughs> In a bag of life, they are amazing for carrying lots of rocks. And it's about good 300 metres, 400 metres. Oh, it feels further. It feels further. Well, it does. Oh, it, it, does it is when you're carrying that. That's, that's two carrier bag full. So I've got another couple of loads today. Rooney's got a, a pot of water on the go because we've never even had a brew food or anything. And he's going to cook some nice uh, sausages I've went and brought. I brought some nice. I've been I've been extra special with them and not gone extra special. I've actually got marks and sparks. Yes, I, very I've nice. Never, I've never been shopping there. Once oh. I went, ah, yeah, I'll, I I'll go. Got a Christmas voucher of somebody. Aye. That's the only time I've ever been. Well, I've gone a couple of times a month. I'm an oldie man, it's, me. Born it's... and bred. I used to crawl out the gutter and go <laughs> pinch people's breadcrumbs off them. <laughs> well, I used to shop in Nettles when I was single. I it out. It was great, that. <laughs> but now I live with a posh woman. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't, and marks and sponsors, yeah, marks and sponsors. As well. I do not anyway. I, 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 I do, I buy salads, I love me salads and pizzas but from um, there. Yeah. But, but I... There was a point I was going to make there. Go on I'm then. I'm totally forgetting what it was because you're giving stage fright. No, it's uh, been very emotional. Oh, I I move. But going back to being evicted by the otters, which they did do. Remember that thing in that little clip Mr Lund Larson put of me sloughing? Remember, test and adjust before you decide. Now, if Mr. <laughs> Lund Larson had done that, he would have found there was a big bunch of nasty council otters living along there that don't pay their board, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, they've ganged up on her and uh, 
hide we're out Aye. anyway. But anyway, if you have a quick look around, we've got a beautiful area. We're right next to the edge of the woods. It doesn't matter. We don't have to hide from anybody because we have got permission to be here. So it's a nice little area there where we're going to have the fire. I've set up my top like we normally have it in any way, which is great. Instead I've of root, because uh, he's pinched it, he's pinched the prime spot. I've been pushed right to the edge, out of the way. But anyway, so that's that. And then behind here, Rooney's Rooney's got the rumour of view, right next to the social area. That's so he doesn't have to stagger too far back to his hammock on at the night time. And then I've come up here. Now it's like a bomb's hit, but we had to move. It started raining as we're moving, so I was. Um, just whacking things all over the place in the Bergens. So I've still got loads of stuff to sort out on the floor, but food comes first. And as you can see, the one wind top, when you pull it out properly, there's absolutely tons of room. And uh, I've just got my waterproofs and bits and pieces um, drying off. As you can see, my top's still wet off this morning. Oh, but yeah, happy days. Nice location this. And because of my trees situated, um, no matter where the wind's blowing, when I come, I can alternate me top around and I've got a nice little area and it's a bit more of distance away from Rooney. So, about 300, 400 metres that way is where we were for the last couple of nights. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a nice hot sausage sandwich and a nice hot cup of tea, which is what we're going to be doing soon. So... Uh, I'm not going to bring you along for the cooking of the sausages and that. We're just going to get them done and dusted. All right. Well, I might not bring you back, but the one of the many camp pans is nearly coming to a bit of a boil. But I, I went and brought these. Oh, lovely, jubbly pepper, pepper sausages and just big chunky ones. Well, I've just nearly hide on the floor. But anyway, see you all, Rooney. Be in a happier position once I've had a bit of uh, food, food in a hot, hot brew, and then once we've done that, I'll get the rest of the um, stuff sorted, my um, area sorted, get the fire pit sorted. I'll bring us along for all that bit, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go and take Rooney and show him how to go shopping for firewood. I might have to test and adjust again. No, like much of no, level. no, no. You don't have to, because we're getting out done. All right, because we've. We've had to move home. And anyway, I waffle waffle, season a bit. Right, well, as you can see everybody, it's starting to get a little bit dark now. Rooney's having a having a, a well-earned rest because we've been out, uh, as you can see, chopping two. We've got two nice big logs like that. Uh, one's gonna be a chopping chopping thing for me. And Rooney wanted his for a footrest while he's sitting chilling, take the feet the weight off his feet. So we've been on a, a bit of a hike. Uh, hence why it's dark now and we haven't spoke you for ages. Hike! I might as well have went on the mountains with you. <laughs> There's no way am I going to be able to keep a figure like mine going one walks like that. that would together. But anyway, I've still got the fire area to do. And uh, I've got a bit of wood to split. Then we're going to get the fire going. But uh, we went up and up the top of the woods and there's some big massive um, pine trees come down. They must have been down for ages like cause them them there are absolutely light as out, aren't they? Compared to what we thought we were going to be. But anyway, I'm going to get this fire done. I'll chop a little bit of wood, get the fire area prepped, and then we'll get it started. And then Mr. Rooney's going to be doing his chef thing again, and we're going to be having a Chinese beef and chicken curry with an assortment of vegetables with a bit of spice kicked in. It's um, one's finger looking good. And while he's doing all the cooking, I'm going to sit again. back. Well, I <laughs> eat it all. I do the know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, it's just the way we roll, isn't it? Yeah. It certainly is. So we had a nice dinner last night. I had a nice lamb stew type thing the night before, and now I'm going to finish it off with a nice, ching, nice Chinese dinner, a nice Chinese meal, sorry, not a Chinese dinner. <laughs> I'm talking Chinese dinner. Right, and anyway, let's get this fireplace sorted. And then we'll be finger licking good. Yeehaw! See the ocean, how 
Right, well, there you go. That's the fireplace done. It's worked out quite well, but I think the next time I'm here, I'm going to get myself some mud, mix it up with some water and some bits and pieces, and then make the fireplace again. But uh, yeah, that'll work a treat that. Oops, sorry, camera's everywhere. It's in my hand. So yeah, that's working a treat that. We've got a nice, solid base. I just need to find a couple of little, a little stone to go in there, and that'll be as sweet as a nut like. Um, nice, solid base on the floor. A nice back wall so it'll retain the heat and a nice little wall at the front there just to stop everything falling out over so yeah happy days so the next thing that we're going to do is um slip a what do you call it chop a little bit of wood up get some fine sticks off the bits that we've got uh, me and rooney went away earlier on for a, a bag for life and me bergen and we uh, we collected all that there so we'll cut it all to size basically when we we're there and then hump it back. It's all we're, we're, call, we're gonna call the old woodland wa firewood shop. Eh? Mm -hmm. Are you snoring there? No. But I said <laughs> the tired one. Yeah. I need to maybe test it. I'm 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 positive when I was had my battery I just heard you have a little bit of a snore. Did you? Yeah. Oh, oh hey. He may go and test and adjust his hammock again. <laughs> That'll be re when it's just about to get the fire on and get some tea cooking. But anyway. Ah, uh, you know, he's walked a few miles a day, like, and we've done a lot of moving around, obviously, from camp to camp, so I think, I think, bless his little cotton socks, it's went and knocked him out. Tell you the truth, like, I'm tired myself, to be quite honest. So I've got a couple of Jack Daniels to drink tonight, and, uh, and a nice bit of food. So anyway, I'm waffling. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to split some wooden things, and uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to start the fire. Right, well, as you can see, it's now even darker than what it was before. It's now half past six at night, and tonight we're going to be using some of Rooney's fire doofas, the fire starters that Rooney makes, and he puts them in little tins like this. They're not up for sale, it's just something he does, and every now and again, if I meet people, I'll give them a, give them a pack of it. All right, um, so basically all it is is some makeup pads with some wax, and some sort of inflammable combustion fluid attached to it. What have you got in these, Rooney? Yeah. What's in your fire doofas? What, fl yeah. what fluid? Some of what, uh, paraffin. paraffin. Yeah. Right. So there you go. There's one of them gone. I'm just going to get your one. So basically what you do is you just Crack it open, do it over the top of your fire so all the wax files onto your bits and all. All right, set it alight, place it down. Happy days. Now all we're going to do then is just get that stick, put it across the back there a little bit, erase it, and then we're just going to get some of these. They're a bit damp. All right, so get a little bit of fluid off them. Not much like by shaking them. And just try not to smother your fire. And then all I'm going to do is, when I let the flames come up off there, if you watch the if you watch me channel, you'll know what I'm on about. Just let the let the twigs catch. And then I've been slicing and dicing some uh, nice bits of wood. If he's not what he's talking about, let me know in the comments, please, because I've got no idea what he talks about. Because that's why. He doesn't do Alice. <laughs> Smoky Joe, that like. Ooh wee. We're sending out signals. The plane, boss. The plane. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna let that grow now. Let it build up a bit, and then I'll put a little bit more. Once the flames start coming up higher, I'll put a little bit more on, and that's it. Basically, the fire is lit. So that means we'll get a nice nice fire going and then we'll let Rooney do his magic cooking yeah. cooking a fantastic meal for me to eat. At the minute we're sending the Jordy message of SOS <laughs> to our Canadian brothers across the pond and the Native <laughs> Americans. What we're basically saying there is can you send Rooney some gravy in smoke signals? <laughs> so happy days. Aye, thanks to everybody that's um, donated to the channel. Um, 
obviously if any more people do then i'll hire names up on the screen and give you a nice shout out but it, that's that doesn't mean i'm telling you that you have to it's don't let every every individual Nice. Right, what are you eating then? Oh, yeah. I think I might just eat out this bowl. Is that alright? Whatever you want to eat out, you could eat out the bowl. Oh, I've got the handle first time. Just doing a little bit of a drainage. It's like milk on a cow. <laughs> right, Rooney. I'm going to slash a Rooney. I'm going to cut that down there. Put my knife down though so I don't lose it. I think that's about half. Right, Oh, what's up there? So you're half, you're half. Yeah. One. Mm -hmm. I'll just let you serve up, mate. Two, right, getting two beetles. Ooh, you're Yodley, hoo hoo. Watch that doesn't spill, mate. One. Do I want you to move closer? It'd be easier, wouldn't it? It looks bloody lovely, it smells lush. Two. Give you a third one, a third little, 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 There's a third one, and I'll have a third one. That's loads, isn't there? Yep. Well, let's see what we've got a minute. Right. Do you want us to put that somewhere safe? It is safe, isn't it? Right. Well, anyway, there's food, everybody. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so you can have a look. And what's this called, Rooney? Chicken and beef curry. A chicken and beef curry. Chicken it looks, curry. it looks and smells really, really nice. Right, well, it's time to taste the food. I've got a little bit of chicken there. Oh my God. Mm. A little bit of rice. A oh, bit of pepper on that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is bloody delicious. There you go. Another quick look. I don't know if you'll see it because of the steam, but that is really nice. Obviously, I'm eating it with a massive bowl. I just couldn't be bothered to put it on my plate, like. So, yeah. Rooney, thank you very much, mate. That's another that's amazing meal that you've made. So what's it called? Chicken and beef curry. Uh, just a chicken and beef curry. Simple as. With some amazing tastes. Now we're, we're going to sit back, eat this and enjoy it. Have a couple of drinks. Listen to some tunes. We might bring this back, we might not. It all depends how we feel. See you in a bit. Right, well, good morning everybody. It's half past nine. 
Uh, me and Rooney didn't get to bed till dead late last night. I think we nodded on and off until about three o'clock in the morning, and I gave up then. Like, but uh, yeah, I got up some coals in the fire, so I just put some twigs on, and uh, I got the fire going. I'm just going to be heating up some water in the pan just to clean it out from the curry last night, which was absolutely superb, by the way. It was brilliant. But I, having some decent wood to burn is amazing. And then you just wake up in the morning, got some coals, put some twigs on, here presto, your fire's back on again. But I, yeah, a really good night last night compared to the night before where we were in a mud bath. But lesson learned. Check the ground first. I've just been for a shovel recce and when I dug into the ground further up next to where we were camping it's all clear and that's hence why the water was just laying on the top and we were getting flooded out but it's a bit better here it's like soil over this side so this is the area where we'll be setting up a base camp and uh, yeah I've already yeah, marked a couple of dead standing trees and a couple of other bits and pieces I think we'll just start off with making beds and come with our shell there were tops but other than that, just put a bit of rubbish on the floor so I'll get that burnt while it's there. But I, Rooney's um, having a little snooze still. I'll just let, let him be. I'm in the hurry of the day as long as I'm back home for about four o'clock. That'll do me. So I'll just mooch around, get tied up. Uh, yesterday I went down to the car with Rooney and we'll come back with a nice big orange box. It's a, a waterproof airtight box. And we're going to use that to put all our pans and all in. And just above it is a nice big roll of um, tarpage. It's like um, a, a black bit of tarp that I used on one of my last bills. So I brought the rest of that out as well. Obviously, because it is what permission woods, we've got no worries about anything getting taken because we'll just let the farmer know that we've left stuff situated. But what we'll do is we'll cam it up with some sticks and things and branches just so it's not standing out and uh, as, as we will, we'll tidy up the camp area and leave it as clean as possible. Obviously the tripods and fireplace and that will be left in situ. But yeah, it's been good for me soul getting away for three, day, uh, three nights. It's tiring though, um, I must admit, but I've had some really good laughs, I've had some good food and it's took me mind off things with me ma and uh, that's why I came out. So not that it's made me mad disappear, it's just took me mind off it for a bit and made us feel like I'm back in reality. But today, I think it's just gonna be a case of tidying up. I think we're gonna have some um, some sausage wraps this morning or this afternoon when Rooney gets up. I'm not bothered me, I'm not really that hungry still. So I was, as Rooney said on the video last night, I was still munching on that even when it was cold. It was that nice, that curry, like the flavours were amazing. But anyway, I am definitely going to put some water on and uh, get a brew because I'm feeling a bit parched. Right, well, a little bit of time's passed since I last spoke to you. Rooney's up, we've had about two or three cuppers. Uh, the rain started, so we've retreated to underneath the top. And now um, Rooney's um, gonna be cooking some bangers. We're gonna have some sausage wraps. So this morning we're gonna be eating, these ones are the eight great British pork bangers from Marks and Sparks because I've trapped with to some nice ones. But anyway, I'll turn you around so we can see the man in action. Here he is, look at. But uh, yeah, um, it's got a little bit chilly, hasn't it, mate? It has. It's it has. Just dropped down the temperature a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm, I've got me jacket on underneath this jacket, and I'm bloody cold like, but the rain's coming. It looks like it's getting a bit misty outside as well, outside of the woods. But Rooney's just getting himself ready for his master chef. Right. You know, a little bit of a story here. <sighs> you know, Jimmy eats enough food for a small village. Unfortunately. <laughs> have you ever anybody... Have you... Have you ever heard of anybody sleep eating? So I made... A nice curry last night, and that um, doesn't come off there. It, it's like a sort of new way of uh, preparing the meat at home. 
I put various ingredients in to give it more of an authentic Chinese taste. So, anyway, we has our normal portion, well I had my normal portion, a small pot, and uh, Jimmy had his. And I couldn't get over how often he was saying it's very nice. So anyway, as the night progresses, we're having a few drinks and beers, and Jimmy happens to fall asleep, then he wakes up. Then he decides, he says, Rooney, that curry's lovely, I'm going to have some more. Because there was quite a bit left. And he proceeds to eat it. Next thing I know, he's asleep, but he's eating the food in his sleep. Have you ever seen anybody do that before? Like I say... I didn't see it happening. <laughs> I know, you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it was bloody lovely, I was even eating the cold out the pan. I've never seen out like it. Sleep eating. There wasn't much thrown away this morning, mate. Aye, it, it I, was took all, I took all the goodness out of it. It was really nice. Oh, it was. It was amazing. It's a shame... Um, I paid top dollar for it in a restaurant, me. Like, that's how good it was, everyone. Yeah, the really. next time, if um, I've got enough money, I'll get the pork as well and put mm -hmm. Chinese pork in it as well. That was the only thing, to me, that was missing. Aye. But uh, it was outstanding. And prawns. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but I'm looking... special curry it would have been. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking forward to eating these sausage sandwiches because I'm a bit hung more than now. Because it's like I say, it's after after eleven o'clock in the morning now. So obviously the rain's coming to see we're off on a good note, and uh, I think basically once we've cooked these, we'll be tidying up camp, packing my stuff away properly, nice and slowly, and then that'll be the end. So I think I might just end the video here. To be quite honest. Because uh, we're not going to be doing anything else, we're just going to be getting packed up and going. So I'd just like to say thank you very much everybody for um, tuning in, watching the video and listening to us babble on loads of rubbish. And um, this uh, is just the start of the new adventure and the new woodlands. Obviously the first area I picked was a bit of a shambles like because I've been out checking the ground and it's, it's very clay over, over that end of the woods. But here it's got nice soil underneath. So we're not going to get any problems with damp and we're on a slight slope. So this area here where we are now is going to be the main area for setting up camp. And uh, we'll just neutralise all the all the goodness of all the um, materials that's over on the other side. And the wildlife here is quite abundant. We've got loads of um, pheasant yeah. in, all around. We've seen four deer this morning, that's just while we're uh, talking shite. And uh, the squirrels, squirrels... Keep going past them. Uh, aye, they got and by with their shopping bags from uh, Aldi, you know what I mean? So they just take everything for granted. And there's so. abundance of uh, wood pigeons coming in and roosting on the night time as well. I've noticed loads of big nests. I think they're squirrel nests up in the trees, like, um, so, yeah. And because they're not native to our land, the grey squirrel, at some point, they'll be gone in this frying pan. Aye. So, yeah. if, you, if you don't know about grey squirrels, grey squirrels carry a disease. It doesn't affect them, but it kills off all the red squirrels. So, we're going to be putting some on my plate. Anything I ask shooting here, when I bring my rifle, it'll be getting et. It won't be just getting shot and thrown away to one side. Obviously, you've got to watch out for certain seasons, I believe. I'm going to look into that as well, because I think, like, shooting pheasants and things, you've got to be in a certain season to do it. But we've got full permission off the farmers, so happy long days, like... As long as we eat what we shoot. As long as we eat what we shoot, we don't discard it and just leave it to rot in the forest. But anyway, once again, thanks, everybody, for watching. It's really appreciated. And our wiggy here. And last-minute word? Um, yes. For the people that put comments on, I'll obviously read through them <coughs> when when the videos come out. Could you say I put a comment on which part of uh, or where you, which country you're from, even or town or city or whatever? Because it means if I ever do put a comment on, I'll be able to give you a little bit of slander for living in such <laughs> dodgy places. You know what I mean? Because Northumberland, apart from it being freezing all the time and down it's got the most beautiful country in the UK you know and we're not too far away from Scotland so and we've got loads of castles because the dirty Vikings used to come and plunder our knickers right now you wait 
So basically, whatever area you come from, let Rooney know. All right, and I'll try and keep him calm on his uh, replies to people, not telling people to go and shit a hedgehog and all that, you know. <laughs> if I see you go and shit a hedgehog, right, it's from me that's a compliment, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm thinking of all the pain that you would go through if you actually did that, you know what I mean? But he's, um, he's got a warm yeah. sense of humour, everybody. And if you're new to the channel, you'll soon start finding that out. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to cut it here. Thanks, everybody, again. And I'll catch you all on the next one. And I'm sure we'll be out again soon. Bye-bye.